guys. Um, I was just sitting with a friend of mine who wants to learn how to paint. She was like so frustrated because she just started painting and she's like, oh my gosh, how in the world do I stop making these muddy colors? Because I just get mud every time I paint. So she showed me what she does and what she does is she just like dips her paintbrush into a random color, say the yellow. And she goes painting and she's right really free in everything while she works. And then she'll go d uh, dip her uh, uh, brush into this green and then she'll get like this green color because blue and yellow are green, right? And then she keeps going and she'll turn into her red and she'll start making a, another red here and maybe she'll put some white in there and she'll get this other color and she keeps going and going the whole time with these clear colors, right? And what happens is she starts making these like really dirtyish colors that she doesn't like and she doesn't know how to control that. She keeps going, just putting her brush into the colors that she likes, which is very good because when you do that, you, you work really like free, but at the same time, you have no control over what's happening with the colors on your paper. And when you put wet paint into wet paint, you just get this like mush. It doesn't like turn into like this color, good color. It just turns into this like ugly thing. And that's because you're not layering the right way. You're just painting like wet on wet, almost like you would uh, with um, watercolor. And I'm not saying that this, I mean, you can actually make paintings that are very beautiful with these colors. So uh, that's not it. The thing is, is that you're not uh, using your colors in the, in the right way and not uh, letting them dry, first of all. And I'm going to show you what happens. All right, so now we're just going to make some marks in here because you know me, I love making marks in my paint. All right, and, and now we're gonna try and like let that dry a bit. All right, so now this is almost dry, but I just wanna stop for a second because now you see this clear yellow color and you see what happened when I kind of mixed it with, without washing my brush, I just like dipped it, my brush into the green and into the red and then I kind of got this, I don't know, this like muted orangey color that is not really that beautiful. I mean, you see it here again, and then we can make it even worse because now I've only been using uh, color. I've only been using my red, my yellow, and my blue. And <laughs> this is what happens with that. But what would happen if you were actually doing what you usually do, and you usually use some black in your colors, right? So if I put some black into that green, you can see it turns dark. That's no big deal. But if I was to put like red into there now, uh, maybe fish up some of that yellow in there and you're going to see what starts to happen to my color now. Um, it's getting really, really dark and ugly and I could even put some white in there, but I still like, I'm getting these like muted, heavy colors, um, more blue, you see, I'm getting these like really ugly colors that aren't doing my, uh, my painting any good. All right. So ugly colors have their place in your art, just to make that clear. I mean, ugly colors, uh, can often turn out beautiful if you put a beautiful color beside it. Look how that brown, red brown color like lifts that yellow or the yellow even complements that reddish brown. 
you could even use white. I mean, because now you're starting to get some kinds of contrast there, right? So it's, it's kind of looking nice. But what happens if you take that like real clear red color, I'll put some white in there just so that we can see it better. And now I start using it next to that ugly color. And now that my paint is dry, I'm starting to layer. And when I start to layer, that's when things start to turn out beautiful. They don't start blending into each other and my painting starts to come to life. So if you want to paint uh, paintings, you have to have some uh, patience. I mean, you have to be able to wait for your painting to dry or your layers to dry, or <laughs> you could even just um, use a hairdryer or, or something to, to dry your paint with so that you give it time. When you give it time, um, beautiful things happen. You see, these ugly colors are no longer uh, perceived as ugly. They're turning into these awesome colors that are lifting our painting because we had the patience to wait. And that's what it's all about. We just have to wait. When you wait, <laughs> you start layering, okay? All right, I'm just going to keep going, guys. If you want to keep watching, go right ahead. <laughs>